What's going on? It's JB Two Worlds. We here with Sounds of the Future, and we about to answer some questions today. I love you, five hundred eight. And for me, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a content creator. I'm a public interviewer. For me, I interview mad people. And for me, y'all could be next. Just DM me. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, what influenced me to start making content was. One day I was chilling for me. I was I was at uh, Lincoln University. It was mad people doing YouTube and stuff like that. I was like, nah, that's like tough. Like how I get in, into that and shit like that. And I seen somebody doing a public interview, and I was like, nah, that's a good way to start. And then luckily the person I met for me he was already into the YouTube scene, so he put me on the pop the balloon. And then that's when for me my YouTube career really started. I interviewed uh, Funny Bo Quill. I don't know if y'all know him. That was my first interview. That interview did for me that it did well for my first one. So I did that was nothing but up. You know what I'm saying? New York is, for me, super big in content. Like, every day is a new event. Every day is somebody to meet. New York is filled with people. So it's mad networking to be done. It's mad people to meet. And the way New York influenced me as a person, for me, you know what I'm saying? And telling that dog in me, you feel what I'm saying? It's just telling to go on outside, live my life, and just provide a YouTube with the scenes. Um, One of my, for me, one of the people that started me into the YouTube, like, when I first started watching was Casanat. You know what I'm saying? Casanat's a big influence. At, uh, for me, like the whole EMP group, I support them. For me, that's that's what I believe. For me, get my got the like idea. I'll be doing 24 hours and stuff like that. 24 hours here, 24 hours there. Just living my day to day life and just putting on the camera. And that really came from them. So if anybody was my influence, it would be them. My favorite interview gotta be G Herbo. For me, the Herbo one was fire. My most fun one was the one with uh, Massa Fade in Montana and uh, Extra Money Glare Money. You know what I'm saying? That, that was a good one. That was my favorite one. And then my most, like, when I was, like, old, oh, like, I'm really doing this was probably the herbal one. Because for me, not everybody gets to, for me, do that. So. It's all freestyle. It goes on straight vibes. If you vibey, then the interview going to do well. And if you're not, for me, the interview is going to do what it do. But it's all straight vibes. I, I normally ask the same questions. Who I'm here with today, you know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know you, tell them what you do. I ask really the same questions. But vibey. The, in, the interview flows. If you're not vibing, just like the three questions, I say shout out to you, you and I just get on my day, you know what I'm saying? Um, really just being consistent, man. Like being consistent is the hardest part about anything in life, honestly. Being consistent, staying consistent is what gets you to that next level. And just like, even when you don't got nothing to drop, you just gotta always find something. Like always find something to drop, just keep making people see your face. And that's probably the hardest part, but you know, gotta get it done though. I started thinking about club band, making music definitely for me one day down the future, like down, 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 down the future. I'm gonna make, I might drop a song or two. You know what I'm saying? I might drop a song or two, but a club band definitely for sure. C9, shout out C9. You feel what I'm saying? That club band gonna come out soon. Y'all gonna see that. And everything will be a movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope they just laugh, man. I hope it just makes their day better. Like, honestly, I hope when you're having a bad day, when you're going through the storms for me, let me watch JSB2 real quick. Let me laugh real quick. Like, let me just vibe like that little 10, 20 minutes of the video that you watch. I just hope you just vibe and just forget about the real world problems when you watching me. You know what I'm saying? I always see myself doing YouTube about like eight years ago for me. I used to upload videos all the time, like little gameplay and stuff with my man Joey. I used to upload mad Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. But, you know, I was young boy for me. That joint wasn't really going nowhere. Like out there, I was just playing the game and commentating over it. But it wasn't like good content. But I always see myself being a YouTuber. But then. The more and more I got confidence putting my face out there, I was like, I could really do this. You feel what I'm saying? One of the most, like, one of the lessons I really learned, like, that I really take with me every day is don't care what nobody thinks. Because I would have been started doing content with, like, my face on it or, like, for me, not not video games, but I always just care what somebody thought. Like, I, I don't care no more. So I just post. I go outside. Whatever happens outside, I'm posting it. Like, y'all seeing it. You feel what I'm saying? Because for me, at the end of the day, you got to control what you got going on, what you got in your life. You know what I'm saying? Control that, and everything is going to be only good. For me, everybody, everybody got their own insecurities. Everybody got in the back of their head what they most insecure about. But some people let that get to the front of their head and really mess up the vision and mess up the goals that they got because they care about what the next man thinks, what the next person thinks. Like, it really doesn't matter. You feel, At the end of the day, no matter what happens, they're going to forget that in the next 10 minutes because there's so much going on in life every day. You feel what I'm saying? So to live your life to the fullest, bro. Don't care what no one thinks. At the end of the day, you control you. You feel what I'm saying? 10 years from now, man, I see myself, I see myself like mad goals completed. I see my mom not working no more from me. Mom and dad retired from me. All the guys is good. 
my family's good, everybody's taken care of. You feel what I'm saying? And to see it like my Duke smile, you feel me? That's really the end goal. Like end goal of everything, just seeing that smile. You feel what I'm saying? Like just her being proud of you, like really the end goal. It's mad motivation, like feel me, like just from where we come from and stuff like that, you feel what I'm saying? It's not it's not a lot of stuff going on. So the being able to be the one thing that's going on and really and really like just put everybody on the map and just make sure everybody's good. That's that's motivation right there. Making sure everybody's good. Like if you around me, you don't gotta worry about nothing. Um, honestly, feel me, what makes me stand out is that I just really just do it. Like a lot of people just say they wanna do stuff and really just don't do it the next day. I really just get up, I right, bet, make content today. Let let's see how that goes and then it started going good for me and that's why I'm pursuing it and that's why I keep going and that's why I, no matter, and that's also another thing, no matter what, no matter if your video gets 100 views, 200 views, 300 views, that next one might get a million. Like, you just gotta keep posting, keep, and something's gonna happen, bro. God did, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Just stay patient, bro. Feel me? I wasn't getting no views. I was probably getting like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. I posted one video, 1.3 mil. You feel what I'm saying? Anything is possible. And that's all since June. I started this in June. You feel what I'm saying? So anything is possible. You can do anything you put your mind to. So then, the difference between me and everybody else, I just do it. And they could do the exact same thing I do. They just gotta just do it, man. That's it. For me, God's everything. For me, without God, it's nothing. God then. You know what I'm saying? Really that just simple. Believe in God and you gonna watch, you gonna watch your path unfold to what you believe in, bro. Just stay faithful no matter what happens. Always stay faithful, always have hope. Honestly, success is not money, it's not for me, it's not women, it's not none of that. Success is really like what you what makes you happy if you would get up every day and be happy with the result of what you're doing whether that's doing anything feel me you're successful if you could wake up every day and be like i'm happy with what i'm doing today is a good day tomorrow's gonna be a good day because i'm gonna do the same thing i did today bro you're successful bro you you found what you love doing and you pursued it and that's what makes you successful no matter what no matter what it is yeah uh for me um, it's a lot of, for me, it's big things coming. I got a little project coming for me, college talk, chill, chill, chill. Love <laughs> me, little street twit, chill, chill. For me, I'm gonna keep that on the, on the cool for me, but we all stop for sure. In summertime, I got mad announcements for y'all. Just stay tuned. Advice, words, a wisdom I got for y'all, it really does. Don't let no one tell you that you can't do something. No matter what it is, you could do it. Like, if you want to be the president of the United States, you could do that. I swear to God. I ain't never lie, bro. You could do whatever you put your mind to, but you really gotta love it though, because every day is not gonna be a good day. Every day is not gonna be like, oh, this day was valid. I want to no. Some days you're gonna go to do something and it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna the outcome's not gonna be what you thought it was. But then tomorrow you gotta expect a better outcome and do the same thing, bro. Go outside, meet people. You know what I'm saying network and network, bro. No matter what you're doing in life, bro, whether that's basketball, whether that's a sport anything bro for what i'm saying network networking is so big because like you could meet anybody bro and they can put you in spots where you want to be bro network bro and always be kind be kind to everybody you meet don't ever be don't ever be on no weird time and night out everybody you meet be kind treat them the same way you want to be treated i love you 508